wonder how children construct knowledge? Let's watch the scenario to find out. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Lisa. Look, a basketball. Let's go play some hoops. Freeze. Lisa is assimilating. She does not know what a soccer ball is, so she is using her existing schemes or understandings to identify this ball. Soccer? A basketball? That's not a basketball. This is a soccer ball. What are you talking about? Freeze. Lisa is now experiencing disequilibrium. She does not understand how a soccer ball and a basketball are different. Basketballs are orange. You see the lines on here? And you yeah. can dribble them with their hands. Oh. Soccer balls, you dribble them with your feet. And you see the patterns? Oh, I see now. You see? I see. So you use them with your feet. Like this? Yeah, just like that. All right, want to go play some soccer? Let's go play some soccer. Let's go. Now Lisa has reached equilibrium. She has accommodated. She now has a new schema for soccer balls and understands the difference between a basketball and a soccer ball. Such a beautiful day to be in the park, Peyton, isn't it? Yeah, it's so bright and sunshiny. It is. It's so pretty. Oh, look, it's a nugget! A no, no, no. Freeze. Peyton is demonstrating schemata and assimilation by recognizing the raccoon as a dog. She recognizes that the raccoon has four legs, a tail, and fur. So in her mind, her schemata tells her it's a dog. No, no, Peyton, that's not a doggy. That's a raccoon. Not a doggy. Freeze. The state of disequilibrium has occurred because she is confused on why this furry, four-legged creature is not a dog. Not a doggy, honey. That's a raccoon. And they're not nice and they bite and we don't pet those. But they have the four legs and the tail. Well, they do. But lots of animals have four legs and tails. But not all animals are nice. We can't play with that. That's a raccoon, okay? Why is it not nice? To bite you and that's not safe. Oh, what makes him angry? Well, he just doesn't know you. Then why can't we take him home and make him know us? Because he's a wild animal. He likes to live out here in the woods here in the park. Well, then he lives in the woods. What's he eat? He eats whatever he finds. See, look, he's climbing that garbage can. You know what I mean? He gets in the air. Yeah, yucky, huh? That's nasty. and created a new schema for raccoons. She is now in equilibrium. Mommy, mommy, mommy! What's that? No, 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 what? You didn't listen to me. Hey, don't play with raccoons. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm sorry, I just want to give it a nod. You scared me. Can you take it home with us? Look, let's go feed the animals I bought you since we could get them, okay? Oh, that's a horsey! Oh, no, no, not a horsey. That's a zebra. Freeze. Peyton is in disequilibrium. She is assimilating the zebra as a horse. She is familiar with horses because she visits her uncle's farm. She has never seen a zebra before, but her schemata is telling her it is a horse because that is what she is familiar with. So it's not, not a striped horsey? No, it's not a striped horsey. It does look like a horsey, but that's called a zebra. Freeze. Peyton is still experiencing disequilibrium because she does not understand why the zebra is not a horse. Zebras come from the from Africa, and they can also be found found in the zoo like this. But horses, look out, back up. Horses come from farms like at Grandpa's or your uncle's. So that's a, a zebra, zebra, zebra. Yes. Oh, is that one okay? I think it might need some food. Want to feed it? It's that food. for zebra. So welcome to review time. We're going to go over what we learned today. First, we learned about schema. That's the representation in the mind of a set of perceptions, ideas, and or actions which go together. Next, we learned about assimilation. And assimilation is the process by which a person takes material into their mind from the environment, which means changing the evidence of their senses to make it fit. Next we have disequilibrium. Disequilibrium is 
refers to our inability to fit new information in our schema. It occurs when you come across new information or experiences that do not fit into your current knowledge. All right, and then we have accommodation, which is the difference made to one's mind or concepts by the process of assimilation. Note that assimilation and accommodation go together. You can't have one without the other. And then next is equilibrium. equilibrium. And equilibrium is occurs when a person's background knowledge allows him or her to deal with the most new information. Super time! <laughs> Basketball? This is a soccer ball. The beaver as a horse. <laughs> it's not a horse. Who's <laughs> to be a beaver lives in the wild?